Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The ceremony is about to begin. At this time, we ask everybody to please silence your cell phones. All rise. The Honorable Chief Judge John Marshall. Good morning. Please remain standing as you are able for the posting of the colors by the Henrico County Public Safety Honor Guard. The national anthem will be performed by Kristen Gaines of the Henrico Police Division. Afterward, please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please continue standing as you are able 
for the invocation. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Kevin Sykes, Senior Pastor of the St. James Baptist Church, to come forward and lead us in a word of prayer. Good morning. Might we pray? Gracious Father, thank you for this day that marks a pivotal moment for those entrusted with both positions and responsibilities and who will now step into the roles of leadership and service for this prominent county of Henrico. We are calling upon you today for your divine guidance as they lead and serve in their elected and appointed positions as supervisors, school board members, constitutional officers, and conservation. And as we cast off the shores of 2023 and enter the uncertain waters of 2024 and beyond, grant them the wisdom to navigate the tempest that troubles our time. In these unpredictable and seemingly volatile times, it may be hard to see the joy and love in a world that has little peace. But we thank you for allowing us to settle within Henrico County that fosters joy for the assignments that are before them and for the love that they have in serving your people and for the peace of working hand in hand to accomplish its goals. We are not only thankful for the trust that this county has placed in them, but we thank you for giving our governmental leaders wisdom and guidance as they address the concerns that impact this county. Help them to dedicate themselves to the well-being of those that serve. Grant them the ability to bridge differences of embrace new visions embolden them to break new ground for the betterment of your people and give them a strong rudder to stay the course. Anchor them in their commitment not only to you, but to the new tasks and decisions that are before them. And as we add God, we are reminded of the words of Mother Teresa when she said, I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. Allow them to create ripples of love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith in you to wash upon the hearts of Henrico County citizens for the generations to come. This we pray in the one who governs and guides our appointments in life. Amen to the one who called us. Amen to the one who sustains us. And amen to the one that ever is with us. God bless you. Thank you, Dr. Seiss. Everyone can please be seated. On behalf of the Henrico Circuit Court, I'm pleased to welcome you to the Henrico County's 2024 Investiture Ceremony. On behalf of my colleagues, Judge Harris, Judge Wallerstein, Judge Johnson, and Judge Herman, um, they send their regards. Um, they had intended to be here. They're usually here. Um, but the time got changed from one to nine. So court has to go on today uh, for the citizens. So that's where they are. Uh, the same goes for the district court judges and the juvenile judges. They send their regards as well. Uh, this morning, 16 individuals elected and certified to county office will stand before us to take an oath of office for terms that will begin January 1st. They will affirm their commitment to the constitutions of the United States and the Commonwealth of Virginia. They will promise to execute their duties to the best of their abilities. In doing so, they will acknowledge the trust that the Henrico citizens have placed in them and in their leadership. It is my privilege now to introduce our county manager, John Vitokas. You know, clapping is allowed. Thank you, Judge Marshall. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Gus. Gus is Henrico's first dog. So I'd like to uh, join the Chief Judge this morning in extending greetings to all of you. I'd also like to say, for those of you that haven't been here, welcome to the new Henrico Sports and Event Center. Where's Dennis Bickmeyer? Do I see him, Dennis Bickmeyer, executive uh, over the Sports and Entertainment Authority, that gentleman really made uh, this event 
uh, center possible. This facility speaks to the vision of the county's elected officials, past and present, who took a chance by purchasing half of a dilapidated mall and represents what can happen when community-minded leaders come together. Truly excited and truly humbled that we can hold this ceremony for our newest elected officials here today. Now, before we ask these officials to take their oath of office, I'd like to take a moment to recognize a few of the individuals who are in attendance with us this morning. The judge referenced the, uh, the bench. I'd like to re recognize several judges from the county's general district court and juvenile and domestic relations court that are here. From the general district court, Chief Judge Lauren Caudill. Judge, thank you for being here. For the ju from the uh, juvenile and domestic relations court, Judge Linda Lambert and Stacy Lee. Judge Stacy Lee is here also. Thank you both for being here. And I also want to recognize a group of individuals that really don't get a lot of credit, but they deserve a lot of credit. And that is our county's electoral board who have worked tirelessly this cycle. The results up here on the stage, Chair Yvonne Smith, Vice Chair Linwood Cobb, and Secretary Kathy Woodson. Ladies and gentlemen, can we recognize those individuals for all of the hard work? And I also want to take a moment to recognize our outgoing officials who are leaving office at the end of this year. These individuals leave a legacy of servant leadership and an unwavering commitment to the residents of Henrico County. First, I'd like to recognize two trailblazing supervisors, Patricia O'Bannon of the Tuckahoe District and Frank Thornton of the Fairfield District. They were the first woman and African American respectively to be elected to Henrico's board and they came into office together on January 1st, 1996. They have represented their, rep their districts for 28 years, which by our count represents the longest tenures for supervisors in the Fairfield and Tuckahoe district since Henrico County, since the voters um, adopted the county manager form of government in 1934. Now I know, I see Frank and his wife Betty are here. He was with us last night. Dan and I, Mr. Nelson, a number of us at a dinner. I don't know how you keep doing it, but Mr. Thornton, will you please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, can we recognize Mr. Thornton for 28 years of service? Now, I also want to recognize Supervisor Tommy Brannon, who had eight years of service representing the Three Chop District and 10 years representing Three Chopped on the Planning Commission. I also want to recognize School Board Member Mickey Ogburn, who had nine years of service representing the Three Chop District on the School Board, Director Nicole Anderson Ellis, Soil and Water, 12 years on the Henricopolis Soil and Water Conservation Board, and Director Anne Marie Leak, who had four years of service on the Henricopolis Soil and Water Conservation Board. Ladies and gentlemen, can we recognize their service? So as we move forward with the administration of oaths, I believe it is important to note the tremendous stability, consistency, and quality of leadership that this county has experienced in its elected offices for many decades. This leadership has served Henrico well over the years. It has prepared us to persevere in challenging times while also giving us the vision to recognize emerging opportunities. The Reverend referenced it this morning as we opened. It has encouraged us to build a better Henrico for all of our residents. And it has reminded us that we should never, never be satisfied with our successes or assume that our work is done. Today, 16 individuals will take up this mantle of leadership 
They will dedicate their time, their energy, and their passion to this county and its people. They are placing themselves on the public stage, and we owe them a debt of gratitude for that service. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce the members of the Henrico County Board of Supervisors for their investiture. I begin with the Honorable Dan Daniel J. Schmidt of the Brooklyn District. Mr. Schmidt was first elected to the Board of Supervisors in 2018. Brooklyn voters have since re-elected him twice to serve as their representative. He is beginning his second full term on the board in January. Mr. Schmidt earned a bachelor's degree from the University of Richmond and is the founder and president of RMC Events. After he has taken his oath, Mr. Schmidt will be joined on stage by his wife Sharon, daughter Taylor, son Carter, and mother Linda. Your Honor. Ready to take the oath? Yes, sir. Please repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will discharge and perform. That I will discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As a member of the Board of Supervisors of Henrico County. As a member of the Board of Supervisors of Henrico County. For the Brooklyn Magisterial District. For the Brooklyn Magisterial District. According to the best of my ability. According to the very best of my abilities. For a term of four years. For a term of four years. Commencing January 1, 2024. Commencing January 1, 2024. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. The Honorable Roscoe D. Cooper III is beginning his first term representing the Fairfield District on the Board of Supervisors. Although this will not be his first term in public office as he has spent the past eight years representing Fairfield on the school board. A graduate of Henrico High School, Reverend Cooper earned a bachelor's degree from Virginia Union University and received a Master of Divinity degree from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor School of Theology at Virginia Union. He earned his Doctor of Divinity degree from Richmond, Virginia Seminary. He is the pastor of Rising Mount Zion Church. After Reverend Cooper has taken his oath, he will be joined on stage by Krista, Alexis, Alexis and Janae Cooper, and by Candace, Antoinette, and Anitra Carter. Your Honor. Yes, sir. Raise your hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As a member of the Henrico County Board of Supervisors. As a member of the Henrico County Board of Supervisors. For the Fairfield District. For the Fairfield District. For a term of four years. For a term of four years. Commencing January 1, 2024. Commencing January 1, 2024. According to the best of my ability. According to the very best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, sir.
with her recent election, the Honorable Misty D. Whitehead is beginning her first term representing the Three Chop District on the Board of Supervisors. She earned a bachelor's degree from Virginia Commonwealth University and received her Juris Doctorate from the Marshall Witt School of Law at the College of William and Mary. Ms. Whitehead is a veteran of the U.S. Army. She is the founding attorney of Just Law PLLC and also serves as a guardian ad litem and court-appointed counsel in Henrico. After she has taken the oath, Ms. Whitehead will be joined on stage by her partner, Sean, daughter Kiana, sons Lennox and Ty, mother Violetta, sister Lachelle, niece Naya, and nephew Isaiah. Your Honor. Raise your right hand repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me all of the duties incumbent upon me as a member of the Henrico County Board of Supervisors as a member of the Henrico County Board of Supervisors for the three chop district for the three chop district for a term of four years for a term of no less than four years commencing on January 1, 2024 commencing on January 1, 2024 according to the best of my ability according to the very best of my ability so help me god so help me god congratulations thank you sir. The Honorable Jody K. Rogish is beginning his first term representing the Tuckahoe District on the Board of Supervisors. Mr. Rogish earned a bachelor's and master's degrees from Carnegie Mellon University. He is a consultant with the firm Impact Makers, with which he works as an information technology project manager for the Virginia Department of Corrections. After he has taken the oath, Mr. Rogish will be joined on, his, on stage by his wife, Allison, daughter, Sadie, sons, Jackson and Tyler, mother, Marcia, and brother, Jeff. Your Honor. Raise your hand, repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As a member of the Henrico County Board of Supervisors. As a member of the Henrico County Board of Supervisors. For the Tuckahoe District. For the Tuckahoe District. For a term of four years. For a term of four years. Commencing January 1, 2024. Commence, commencing January 1, 2024. According to the best of my ability. According to the very best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations.
Verona District voters first elected the Honorable Tyrone E. Nelson to serve as their supervisor in 2011. They have since re-elected him three times. In January, he will begin his fourth term representing Verona on the Board of Supervisors. Mr. Nelson earned an associate's degree from J. Sargent Reynolds Community College and a bachelor's degree from Virginia Commonwealth University. He received a Master of Divinity degree from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor School of Theology at Virginia Union University. He is the pastor of Six Mount Zion Baptist Church. After he has taken the oath, Mr. Nelson will be joined on stage by his wife, Shirazé, son TJ, daughter Sydney and Mackenzie, mother Barbara, mother-in-law Adrian Shelton, nephews and nieces Jason, Jaden, Jason Jr., Candace in London, and family friend Jordan Alexander. Your Honor. I don't know if they saved the best for last or the oldest for last. <laughs> Repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As a member of the Henrico County Board of Supervisors. As a member of the Henrico County Board of Supervisors for the Verona District for the Verona District for a term of 4 years for a term of 4 years commencing January 1 2024 commencing January 1 2024 according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability so help me God so help me God congratulations So ladies and gentlemen, we now turn the investment to the investment of our school board members. Dr. Cashwell, the floor is yours. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is an exciting time for Henrico County Public Schools. We are so pleased to have the continuity of leadership on our school board with three returning members, and we are eager to welcome two new members from the Fairfield and Three Chop districts who will bring a fresh perspective to the school division. They, of course, have big shoes to fill with the retirement of longtime board member Mickey Ogburn and the transition of Reverend Cooper to the Board of Supervisors. Reverend Cooper, thank you for your eight years of service to Henrico County Public Schools. We will miss your thoughtful consideration of key issues, but we know your advocacy for students and schools will continue as you assume your new role on the Board of Supervisors. Likewise, I want to thank Mickey Ogburn for her service and leadership on the school board these past nine years. As an HCPS teacher, and board member, you have helped shape countless lives in our community, and we are forever grateful for that. And I suspect we have not seen the last of Mrs. Ogburn. She promises to be an active volunteer in our schools. As superintendent, I value the expertise and commitment of each of our board members, those who are leaving us and those who remain. They are not here for fame or fortune. They are servant leaders stepping forward to build upon the Henrico County Public Schools tradition of excellence and strengthen our schools and our community by focusing on what is best 
for our young people. And now, as we begin the investiture of the school board members, I'd first like to recognize Mrs. Christy Kinsella, the representative from the Brooklyn District, and this is her second term on the board. Mrs. Kinsella is a longtime Brooklyn resident and a Hermitage High School graduate. She holds a degree in finance from Virginia Commonwealth University and has decades of business and analytical experience. She is the proud parent of three Henrico County Public School students who attend Glen Allen High School and the ACE Centers at Hermitage and Highland Springs. Mrs. Kinsella actively supports each of their schools and PTAs. Today, she has also invited students from government classes at Glen Allen and Hermitage High Schools to attend the investiture as her guests to see civic leadership in action. And she will be joined on stage by her husband, Pete. Judge Marshall and Mrs. Kinsella. Repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All of the duties incumbent upon me. As a member of the Henrico County School Board. As a member of the Henrico County School Board. For a term of four years. For a term of four years. Commencing January 1, 2024. Commencing January 1, 2024. According to the best of my ability. According to the very best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Mrs. Kinsella. And joining the school board for his first term representing the Fairfield District is Ryan Young. Mr. Young was born and raised in Henrico and was one of the first students to attend Wilder Middle School when it opened in 1998. A Henrico High School and Old Dominion University graduate, he holds a Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice and Sociology and a minor in Political Science. Mr. Young credits an internship at the General Assembly as a turning point where he learned firsthand how to create change through legislation. A longtime youth mentor and basketball coach, Mr. Young constantly seeks ways to engage students and their families. Joining him on stage will be his wife, Tremika, daughters, Ariana and Angel, sons, Marlon and Mikhail, and Mr. Young's parents, Robert and Georgia Young. Repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As a member of the Henrico County School Board. As a member of the Henrico County School Board. For the Fairfield District. For the Fairfield District. For a term of four years. For a term of four years. Commencing January 1, 2024. Commencing January 1, 2024. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, Mr. Young. 
We are so pleased to welcome Madison Irving to the school board for his first term representing the Three Chopped District. Mr. Irving is currently a teacher in a nearby school division, but is also taught at Verina and Hermitage High Schools. After graduating from Virginia Tech with a Bachelor of Science in Finance, Mr. Irving had a career in financial planning. However, he had a calling to public education. And that's understandable, given that both of his parents were longtime teachers. Mr. Irving says that his on-the-ground experience will be extremely valuable as he works with his school board colleagues to set policy for Henrico County Public Schools. Joining on, him on stage will be his wife, Taylor, and daughter, Isabella, along with his parents, John and Donna Irving, and in-laws, Dave and Karen Riley. Raise your right hand, repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As a member of the Henrico County School Board. As a member of the Henrico County School Board. For the three chop district. For the three chop district. For a term of four years. For a term of four years. Commencing January 1, 2024. Commencing January 1, 2024. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Irving. Marcy Shea is starting her second term representing the Tuckahoe District on the Henrico County School Board. Mrs. Shea is both a parent and a former teacher in the Tuckahoe District. Mrs. Shea holds a physics degree from Sanford University and a Master's of Education in Curriculum and Instruction from Virginia Tech. After stepping away from the full-time high school classroom, Mrs. Shea has continued to invest in Henrico schools through instructional coaching and working one-on-one -on -one with high school students. She'll be joined on stage by her husband, Mason, and their children, Bradley and Opal. Repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All duties incumbent upon me. As a member of the Henrico County School Board. As a member of the Henrico County School Board. For the Tuckahoe District. For the Tuckahoe District. For a term of four years. For a term of four years. Commencing January 1, 2024. Commencing January 1, 2024. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mrs. Shea. And finally, I am pleased to recognize board member Alicia Atkins, who is beginning her second term as the representative from the Verina District. Mrs. Atkins is the first woman and the first African-American elected to serve the Verina District in this capacity. 
a Highland Springs High School graduate. Her background includes 25 years in healthcare administration, civic engagement, and education. She also serves as a trainer in leadership for empowerment and abuse, the Empowerment and Abuse Prevention Project at VCU, part of Virginia's Partnership for People with Disabilities program. Mrs. Atkins served as PTA president when her children were in elementary school, and she is currently a member of various PTA units in the Verina District. She will be joined on stage by her husband, Kelly. I went to school in Verina, so this is important. Yes. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of <laughs> say that again. Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially and I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me all the duties incumbent upon me as a member of the Henrico County School Board as a member of the Henrico County School Board for the Verina District for the Verina District for a term of four years for a term of four years commencing January 1, 2024 commencing January 1, 2024 According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Okay, congratulations. Congratulations, Mrs. Atkins. And in closing, I would like to offer my congratulations again to our new and returning Henrico School Board members. I look forward to working with you on behalf of students, families, and the community of Henrico County. I'll now invite Mr. Vitolkis to return for the introduction of the constitutional officers. Thank you, Dr. Cashwell. No, um, before we invest our constitutional officers with our indulgence, if you all would have a program, grab it for me. You may have noticed that a name isn't listed for clerk of circuit court. As an explanation, I'll offer that a printer's deadlines don't often align or always align with the requirements of the democratic process. Just a couple of days ago, a recount of the votes cast for this office was conducted. I believe it ended midnight plus. That recount confirmed that the Honorable Heidi S. Barshinger has been re-elected clerk of the circuit court. Heidi, my apologies for not being able to put your name on this, uh, on this program. It just would not line up, but congratulations for your election. <clears throat> So Heidi Barshinger was first elected in 2015 and is beginning her second eight-year term as clerk. She earned a bachelor's degree from Duke University and received her Juris Doctorate from the Tulane University School of Law. After she has taken her oath, Mrs. Barshinger will be joined on stage by her husband, Scott. Your Honor. Repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear no. that I will support the Constitution of the United States as well as the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia, and that I'll faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all duties incumbent upon me as clerk of the Henrico Circuit Court to the best of my ability, so help me God, for an eight-year period commencing January 1st, 2024. She practiced. <laughs> Why didn't they all do that?
The Honorable Shannon L. Taylor has served 12 years as Henrico's Commonwealth Attorney and was voted to a fourth term in the recent election. She earned a bachelor's degree from the University of Virginia and received her Juris Doctorate from the University of Richmond School of Law. After she has taken the oath, Ms. Taylor will be joined on stage by her mother, Anne. Your Honor. Do you memorize it? No, I'm not that good. <laughs> I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution and the Commonwealth of Virginia. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and, and the, Commonwealth the Commonwealth of Virginia. Virginia. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my abilities. And discharge and perform. And discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As the Commonwealth of Attorney, uh, Commonwealth Attorney for the Commonwealth of Virginia, Henrico County Magist District. As the Commonwealth Attorney for the Commonwealth of Virginia, for the Henrico County. Okay, for a term of four years. For a term of four years. Commencing January 1, 2024. Commencing January 1, 2024. According to the best of my abilities, so help me God. According to the best of my abilities, so help me God. All right, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. It may just be me, but I'm sensing a variation on some of the O's taken. Yes. Some of them are different. <laughs> With her recent re-election, the Honorable Elisa A. Gregory is beginning her second term as Henrico Sheriff. She is a graduate of Highland Springs High School. Ms. Gregory earned a bachelor's and master's degrees from the University of Richmond. After she has taken the oath, she will be joined on stage by her husband, Scott, and family members, Anna Winston, Allison Saunders, and Jaleesa and Jaden Oscarson. Your Honor. No, after, after you take the oath. <laughs> yes. Okay. Left hand on the Bible. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As the sheriff for the county of Henrico. As the sheriff for the county of Henrico. For a term of four years. For a term of four years. Commencing January 1. Commencing January 1. 2024. 2024. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Now, now they all come.
Our last group of officials to take the oath this morning will be the directors of the Henricopolis Soil and Water Conservation District. For those of you who may not be familiar with Henricopolis, the district works to conserve natural resources in the county through a variety of community programs and collaborative efforts with our schools and other conservation agencies. It is led by a five-member board of directors, three of, whom, three of whom are elected. Now I'd like to introduce those three individuals. The Honorable Becky L. Lakin is beginning her first term as director. Ms. Lakin earned a bachelor's degree from Virginia Commonwealth University and a master's degree from Maryland University of Integrative Health. She teaches in the School of Sustainability at Arizona State University and is the founder of the Tomorrow Company and is the director of the nonprofit The Giving Wall. After she's taken the oath, Ms. Mrs. Lakin will be joined on stage by her husband Jason, daughter Nella, and parents Linda and Tom. Your Honor. Repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As a member of the Henri Henricopolis Soil and Water Conservation Board. Good job, I'll get it right to you. As a member of the Henricopolis Soil and Water Conservation District Board. For the County of Henrico. For the County of Henrico. For a term of four years. For a term of four years. Commencing January 1, 2024. Commencing January 1, 2024. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. The Honorable Brittany E. Rose also is beginning her first term as director. Ms. Rose earned a bachelor's degree from Virginia Tech and a master's degree from the College of William and Mary. She is the Aging and Disability Vaccination Collaborative Grant Administrator for Senior Connections. After she's taken the oath, Ms. Rose will be joined on the stage by her husband Andrew, daughters Abigail and Madeline, and parents Maurice and William. Your Honor. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As a member of the Henricopolis Soil and Water Conservation Board. As a member of the Henricopolis Soil and Water Conservation Board. For the County of Henrico. For the County of Henrico. For a term of four years. For a term of four years. Commencing January 1, 2024. Commencing January 1, 2024. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you very much.
With her recent reelection, the Honorable Claiborne Yarborough is beginning her second term as a Henry Coppolis director. Mrs. Yarborough earned a bachelor's degree from George Mason University. She is the director of sales and marketing for Barefoot Technologies. After she has taken the oath, Mrs. Yarborough will be joined on stage by her daughters, Kate and Maggie, and her father, Charles. Your Honor. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As a member of the Henrikopolis Soil and Water Conservation Board as a member of the Henrikopolis Soil and Water Conservation Board. For the County of Henrico. For the County of Henrico. For a term of four years. For a term of four years. Commencing January 1, 2024. Commencing January 1, 2024. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, as we close out this, uh, this event, I would uh, be remiss if I didn't thank uh, the Honorable John Marshall. Judge, thank you for everything you did. Um, all of these are different oaths, actually, depending on the office. And, uh, and he had to, I don't know if you memorized it or you're just really, really good at your job. But uh, thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, before I turn the proceedings over to uh, to uh, John Marshall, the O's you took become effective January 1, 12.01 a.m. So welcome. We all look forward to working with you and seeing you succeed as a group. It's, it's been absolutely remarkable seeing this this morning. So without further ado, Your Honor. Please remain seated until the elected officials have left the room. They look forward to greeting everyone in the reception. The This meeting is adjourned. All rise. Thank you all for coming. You may exit. <laughs>